Good evening, basketball fans, and welcome to the Red Zone here at Hicksville High School. As we are getting ready for the season opener here tonight, it's girls' high school basketball action with the Lady Blue Streaks of Archbold making the trip down to visit the Lady Aces of Hicksville for some basketball on this uh, Saturday night. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television alongside Jim Seiler, who will be with us uh, doing the play-by-play -play for the majority of the basketball season. And, uh, boy, Jim, we were getting kind of excited about this last week. We uh, were at the uh, scrimmage that the girls had, and uh, they were looking pretty good. And uh, we are all set and ready for the Lady Aces to take the floor here earlier. Now, there was a freshman game that was played here that uh, Archbold won, but... Uh, they also had a, a huge academic tournament. The, 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 the Quiz Bowl teams, uh, there were people from all over the place. There were teams that were here from around Indianapolis and Detroit. Really? And wow. So uh, wow. it was a long, all-day-long tournament, and it just wrapped up at about 4.30 or so. So we wouldn't add time because I was one of the moderators reading the questions. So I was not going to be able to transition to be able to be here and uh, do the freshman game. So we uh, did not do the freshman game here tonight, but we're going to be here for both the JV and the varsity action uh, this evening. And, uh, again, we're looking forward to it. Uh, first thing that hits me, Jim, is not a lot of players on the roster for the Aces this year, at least to start off the season. Right. They've only got, uh, I think, eight or nine on the JV squad. And later in the varsity, I think there's only seven or, seven or eight girls on the varsity squad. So yeah. it's... Uh, not, not a lot of substitutions are going to be going on for the Lady Aces, uh, at least early on in the season. They have, uh, I know there were some girls who were playing last year who might come back. I'm not, I, I don't know. We haven't sat down and really talked with Coach Freese or anything like that. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, just a kind of a, a short roster this year as compared to years past. And aside from that, uh, I do want to just real quickly say a big thank you to uh, all of the underwriters that are going to be making our basketball coverage for the uh, season. Uh, they'll make it possible, including our live streaming coverage like we've got going on right now on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page, as well as the tape delayed broadcast on Mediacom Channel 12. They include the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet, Jim Schmidt Ford, and, of course, online at jimschmidtauto.com. And, of course, APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park. And they're also online. Check them out at aptmfg.com slash careers. And Subway of Hicksville. I want to thank them so very much, Subway of Hicksville. Remind you to eat fresh and uh, yeah, proud to support the Lady Aces basketball team this season. So, Jim, uh, as we're going to get ready to go here in a little bit, why don't we uh, get started with uh, the starting lineups for tonight's junior varsity game? Okay, we'll try to get this through. Uh, for the blue streaks, we'll start Ryan Kinsman. She is a at number 10, 5'2", sophomore. She has, looks like a twin sister, mm -hmm. Janine. That's, oh, that's an older, is that a... Oh, yeah. she's 12. She's a, no, no, she's no, number 12. Yeah, yeah okay. she's number 12. She's a sophomore also. We're getting, we're, getting, we're getting the numbers and the grades yeah, confused. they got them backwards. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Bria Ruger, uh, she is number 15, 5'6", and a sophomore. And Grace Meyer is going to be a freshman here. Mm -hmm. She's number 20 at 5'2", freshman. And Naya Grimm, number 22, 5'6", and a sophomore. And they are coached by... Sarah Dominic mm -hmm. for Hicksville. We'll start with uh, Tori Perna, number one. She's a junior. Got Martina Vasquez. She is number 12 and a sophomore. Alice, Allison, Ashland. Allison, Ashland. Ashland. Yeah, there we Ashland go. Ashland Steary, a freshman, number 15. And Alice, Alyssa Seitz, a junior, number 30. And finishing them up is Hayden Nyhart, sophomore number 32. So they are coached by Ryan Miser, and we are just about ready to hit it. And Nyhart tips the ball. Gets the ball back inside. Been moving the ball nice. Yep. That was Quick mysterious whistle. in there. 
Quick whistle and a turnover. I'm not sure if that was a... I couldn't see it happened so fast. It was either yeah. a double dribble or a travel, but I'm not was, sure which. It yeah. was probably travel because she was turned around there. Yeah, yeah the freshman game was uh, interesting to uh, watch. Mm -hmm. yes, Archibald pulled out with a giant lead, and then the Aces girls Just started chipped scoring. away. Yeah, yeah, but came up on a short end. Yeah. And yeah. really, Archbold, you know, it's, it's a bigger school. It's oh, a yeah. higher division, and it, it's a tough opponent. And they got a ton of girls out, mm -hmm. too. They got, like, 15 on the JV team. Yep. There. But, again, as the coaches for Hicksville will say, there's nothing that helps get you better faster That's than right. playing really good teams. Yep. So play some competition and don't back off. So Archbold with the ball. Work it out around the perimeter. Number Lady Aces, Grace Grace Meyer two three zone. Grace and Fire pull it out down in the corner. It's Bria Ruger over the other side. Janine Kinsman back. To Kinsman inside. It's to the other side. No Shot off the glass and rebound pulled down by Sites. Steary running the point. Pretty good ball handler there. Yes. Tori Perna gets the ball over to Hayden Nyhart to Sites or to Steary. And the ball is knocked out of bounds mm -hmm. off of Miss Vasquez. Vasquez. Yeah. So it'll be an inbounds. For the streaks. Kinsman has it. Is it over to her sister? Gets the ball back outside. Another rebound pulled off. Sights with the board and Archibald throw stepped out of bounds, yeah. so it's Hicksville ball. So Vasquez will bring it up. And she'll be met at about three quarters court. A little pressure. Gets she gets the ball across, across the court to Perna. Perna drives in, comes back out, gives the ball to Sites, and we're going to have a foul. Number oh. 20. That's our first one of the evening, and that'll be against Meyer, Grace Meyer. Oh, Steri will inbound the ball. Is it to Nyhart? Back to Steri. Oh, Ooh. and intended for Nyhart. A little bit too high. 3.42 to go here in our opening quarter. Still no score here in the junior varsity game. As, as per usual, a nice crowd from Archibald because mm -hmm. they really support their kids. <laughs> We're going to get two-shot foul, number 32. It'll be nine hearts first. First one is good, but it's number 22. Is Grim. Naya Grim, or Grim. Missed the second. Rebound comes off to the Aces. Sights. Ball is down court to Perna. Goes baseline. Pulls the trigger, no good. Scramble on, on the floor, and we have a jump, jump ball. ball. It'll be Archbold's on the possession arrow. So they'll get the ball back with a one to nothing lead here. Meyer with the ball. Is it up? Kinsman. Bring it back out front. Every time I look, there's a Kinsman holding the ball. <laughs> Perna. 
And loses it on the sideline, but I think the Aces yeah. will retain possession. Knocked out of bounds by number 10. That's Rain Kinsman. Steri again to inbound it. Gives it to Vasquez. Mm. Ball mishandled, picked up by Kinsman. Cross court. Meyer shot off the glass. And another rebound goes to Sites. She's been doing a really good job. Must, must be about five of them. Yeah. She's been cleaning up the rebounds Steary. underneath the hoop. Over to Nyhart, to Perna inside. Sites off her foot and picked up by Archibald. Meyer with the ball. Oh, nice, nice pass. pass inside. Girl Ooh. missed it. It was a nice pass. Perna, what's up for runner? Glass. Sites with a rebound. A little long. Sterry puts it up and then she is fouled. Gonna get the shoe to pair. Number 12. 12. That's Kinsman, Janae Kinsman. So 146. Ace is looking to tie with a shot. Misses that one. She'll get one more. Into the game now for Archbold, number 23, Anaya Copeland. Or is that Anya? I think it's Anya yeah. Copeland. <coughs> Got that yeah, one. Yeah, Steary gets the second one. It's tied at one. Meyer, ball goes to the corner. Bring it back, we got Trout. A travel call. So we're gonna put a little press on now. Mm -hmm. Gets it in to Olivia Clark. And the ball is Went away. taken away by Ryan or Grimm. Grimm. Ball loose. Out in front, come to Janae Kinsman, puts up the shot, it's no good. Rebound Missouri coming down. with the yeah. rebound. Clark gives it to Missouri. Ball knocked away. Comes for the hoop. Shot comes up short, but she'll go to the line. Nice 22. Aggressive play. Grimm with their first. That's team foul number three. That's the second one. And yeah. it's off the rim. And that Goes was out of bounds. Last touched by Archbold. The Aces will retain possession. Steered inbound. Out front. Is it to Perna? Over, over to Clark. Clark into the lane. Sights. Bring it back out. Steery. And it's off Missouri. Archibald ball, 1-1 one, one to score. 46 seconds left in quarter number one. Meyer, the ball over to Kinsman, comes this side to Kinsman. Shot put up and blocked. And deflected on the other end too. Meyer, nice play. And the two Kinsmans on the wings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the point guard is <laughs> going to give it to one or the other. It's right back. And 
a lay on short and miss. Missouri with the rebound. Still it doesn't help. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score. A monstrous one to one. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly a scoring explosion here in the first JV game of the regular season, but Nonetheless, we've had a little time here between quarters, and uh, we'll take that time to say a big thank you to one of our basketball broadcast underwriters, one of our Diamond Level supporters, making our coverage of girls' basketball action possible here on Hicksville Community Television. That's the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Hey, remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, whether you want one that's brand new or pre-owned, be it a car, truck, van, or SUV, stop by, check out the great selection they have on the lots, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory anytime online at jimschmidtauto.com. And if you don't see what you're looking for, let the folks at Jim Schmidt know what you're interested in. They always do their best to find you exactly the vehicle that you want and one that will best suit you and your family's transportation needs. It's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealers dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Want to thank them along with APT Manufacturing Solutions, our two diamond level supporters, making our basketball coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television. So some good aggressiveness from the Lady Aces yeah. uh, on the floor. Yeah. They haven't been able to put it down the, the cylinder but that'll come, okay. and it's. Uh, I, mean, I know. I know you like seeing them being aggressive and taking the shot, oh, yes. pulling the trigger. Yep. Yeah, you're not going to score if you don't put it in the air. Yeah. Sites played a heck of a first quarter on the boards. Yes, indeed. So Vasquez with the ball for the aces, and that's Alana. Passed down intended for Perna, and was behind her head, off the wall. Mm -hmm. Alana Pedraza out there, number three for Archbold. Sites with, or Kinsman with the ball over to number 30. 30 is That's, Hannah Downing. Yeah, Downing. Downing's a freshman. So is Pedraza, as a matter of fact. Pass inside, bring it back. Pedraza mm. shot is off the rim. Nyhart with it. She no. wasn't letting go. Nobody was taking that ball away from her. That's for sure. Vasquez. Ah. Oh. Lucky, lucky not to yeah. lose that one. Clark. Clark put it up. And that one grabbed by Ruger. Alex Kenner out there. Number 25 in the middle. Holding the ball, bringing it out. Gee, man. They're going yeah. after the ball. They're, neither team has really got the range dialed in here yet uh, for the offense. Yeah, but it's first, first game first of the game. season. Yep. They're kind of adrenaline's yep. uh, up and Every shot is going to be long. <laughs> we, we were over last night and watched Stryker in Pettisville. And that was a, that was a uh, masterpiece for the Panthers. They played really tough. Beat Pettisville 47-28. We've got a 1-1 one, one game here. One of these seconds it's going to bust open. Yep. It just has to. There you Stolen go. away. Steary across the court yeah. to Vasquez. She manages to get it under control. Yep. Bring it out to Nyhart. Nyhart to the hoop. Got it. There we go. Count it. And she's going to the line.
Grimm back in the ball game, and Copeland is out for the Blue Streaks. Hmm. Oh, Nyhart misses the free throw. So Ace is leading now by a bucket, three to one. Bounce pass inside. Grimm with it in there. Now Grimm's got it again. Turn off the glass and she gets fouled. 25. That's Kenner. That's team foul number three for the Aces. I'm missing one. I must have missed one. I got him for two. <laughs> I got him for two. Yeah. The scoreboard says three, so we missed one somewhere. Yeah, she missed both of them. There's another nice, nice pass. Ooh. Ooh. Put it back up. Sight. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Five to one now, Aces. Down low. Knocked out of bounds. Great idea. That one rolls back towards the locker room, so. Take some time to chase to it down. Run run back there and find it. Oh, Kinsman to inbound it. Gets it in to Grimm. Right back. Kinsman the shot from the corner. Rebound. Nyhart. Nyhart. Vasquez getting dogged by Kinsman. Gets it across the timeline. Oh, Steary. <laughs> Rebound. We're going to have a foul. Yep. Kenner will go to the line. I think it's going to be on 22. Yep. That'll be Grimm's second. And Alex Kenner, the sophomore at the line. She'll get one more. Anya Copeland checks back in for Archbold mm. as Grimm will set down with those two fouls. Second free throw is also missed. Rebound to a Kinsman. Out front. That's Pedraza. Bounce back and Kinsman. inside, over the other side. <laughs> Pedraza <laughs> with the ball on the wing. Look cross Ooh. court. Nice save by Janae Kinsman. To Rain Kinsman. Shot from the side is off the rim. But they get the rebound. A minute 45 to go here in the half. Blue Streaks are down by four. They're moving the ball well. Yep. Oh, we got a bomb from the outside. It's no good. And Nyhart with another board cleaner. Steary's pass inside. Nice pass. Oh, the oh there we go. Kenner. Kenner gets her first bucket of the night, makes it a seven to one game. That was another nice pass. Hmm? Passes are pretty sharp. Pedraza and Kimmer, Kinsman over to another one. Cross 
across the court for Draza. She'd like to go to the basket. Yep. Nyhart was cutting her off. That's no good. Flip back inbounds, but right to one of the Lady Aces. At the half of this JV game, it's Aces seven and Archibald Blue Streaks one. So we've reached halftime of this Junior Varsity Girls basketball game. And as Jim mentioned, the Lady Aces off to a good start, leading the Lady Streaks by six, seven to one. Our halftime score. And of course, uh, we'll uh, keep it right here for the live stream. But for those of you watching on the Tape delay. We'll just let you know that we'll uh, step aside here briefly, and Jim and I will be back, and we'll have all the exciting second half play by play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. So, uh, well, we're down to under a minute here to get ready to get the second half underway. And I'll tell you what, Jim, I'll take care of the Archbold scoring. Oh, Officially, you will. Nia oh, Grimm had a free throw for one. That's, that's <laughs> great. Nia Grimm. All right. For uh, the Aces, uh, Ashlyn Steary, she had one free throw for her single point. And Alex Kenner and Alyssa Seitz. And Hayden Nyhart all had a basket for two for the total of seven. Yep. So seven to one, our halftime score as we'll get ready to get the second half underway here. And again, uh, just a reminder, when we wrap up this game, we'll uh, do a quick post game and then we will end this live stream and we'll probably take about a 15, 20 minute break. And then we will be back with our second live stream of the evening also on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page and that'll be the varsity match for this evening. Streaks with the ball to inbounds to start uh, quarter number three. Ready to hit it. So once again, Jan with the play-by-play, -play, Jim Seiler. Uh, Janae Kinsman will be inbounding the ball. Gets it to Grace Meyer. Meyer drives to the top of the key. Up to Janae. Cross court to her sister. Back to Janae. Clark shoots from the elbow in and out. And the rebound comes off. Ooh, and they're going to battle for that. That was Nyhart and uh, Rain Kinsman that were locked up over the basketball. i tell you what, Nyhart wants the ball. Nice pass up the floor. Ooh. Ooh. And she did a great job just stopping herself before she stepped on the end line after intercepting that pass. That was a good job. That was what, yep. number 20, Grace Meyer. Yeah. Janae with it. Over to Rain. Gets she two. makes it rain. Got a two pointer. Perna, look. Got her pocket pick from behind. Clark with it. Cross court. In and, no. out. In and out again. And we're going to have another jump ball. It'll be at the Archibald end. Yep, that's Nyhart and Grimm this time battling for the basketball. Bounce pass. And oh, up and good. Kinsman, that's four points for Rain now. Yeah. Steary. They'll 
ball, rips the ball away from her and steps on the end line, the sideline. Uh, goes back to Hicksville. Steary to inbound, gets it down low. And there'll be a whistle. There's a lot of bumping between Number like Nyhart and Grimm. Ten blue with the foul. All right. Which will be Rain. Rain. Yep. That's the first team foul of the second half. Mm. Clark quickly down the floor with it. Back to Clark, tries to go baseline, gets shut off by Sites. Clark to Rayan. And it's off Steary out of bounds. Pass down low, shot is partially blocked. Clark looking. Goes down low to 22. That's grim. Nothing there for her. She's got to kick it back out. He's Look who's the shooter all yeah. of a sudden. Rain is Rain Kinsman has just started unleashing him from long distance. Yeah. She decided that pretty soon they'll <laughs> fall. Well, that or maybe she starts taking a lot of shots from the outside. It might help open some things up for him on the inside, too. Yeah. That's off the back of the iron. Sights hangs on to it, keeps the ball moving. Vasquez coming up the floor. Grim on her. Pass oh. intended for Perna, not yeah. long enough. And that one's picked off by Pedraza. And we have yeah. a foul on. Our mass desk is her first team first team foul number one for the second half. Pedraza out front to Clark. Clark Ooh. bangs the three. Yeah, I told you they'd start falling there. Mm -hmm. That Pedraza with the three there? No, it was. Uh, oh. Ooh. Ooh, 20. All right. It was 20. Meyer. Meyer, okay. Twenty-four was a personal. So that'll be Mazer. And she sure. isn't on the floor. Yeah. Must have been twenty-five. 32. Or did he mean 32? And that one's good for Grimm. Now they're starting to fall for him. Off the front of the iron. Out of bounds. Ace's ball. Way. Make the pass. Don't hold the ball. <laughs> Sturry looking things over. Nope. Nope. No. Ooh. Sturry was uh, stranded right under the basket mm -hmm. to put up that shot. Pedraza, is it? To Meyer. Meyer gets it back. Goes back around. Down baseline. Janae. And that's taken away by Kenner. Vasquez up the floor. 
Loses it again. And it's still loose. All right, get ahead of her. Good foul from Vasquez. Yep, stops the easy layup. Yep. That's Martinez second. And team foul number two. Gets it. Got that one to fall. It's five points now for Rain Kinsman. She'll get one more. Puts the streaks on top by three, ten to seven. And that one's off the rim. Off of blue streaks. So it'll stay 10-7. Aces will get the ball back. Perna to inbound it. Somebody sprint to get open. Mm. Meyer with it. The Pedraza, she's going to shoot a three. She got oh. it. I just had a feeling she knew what she was doing. 13-7 now. And timeout on the floor for the Aces. Yep. Needed that quickly. Yep, as uh, they had a uh, six-point lead, and now they find themselves down by six points. So a big swing here in quarter number three is... Like you said, the streaks kind of got warmed up yep. and started hitting some of their shots. Yeah, their, their shots didn't look that bad. There were a lot of them in and out. So yep. Just a little bit. Wear off let some the, of that let adrenaline. The, yeah, like I said, let the butterflies yes. uh, subside a little bit. Yes. So junior varsity coach Ryan Miser talking things over with his girls. Full one-minute timeout. And a good time for me to say a big thank you to Subway of Hinksville. Gold level supporter. Underwriting all of our Aces basketball coverage for the 2021-2022 school year. Want to thank them so very much. Subway of Hicksville says go Lady Aces. Mm -hmm. Back out onto the floor. We'll get ready to get things going with a minute 35 left here in quarter number three. Get up there. Yeah. Good. Block that one. Still rolling around on the baseline. And the black. Good old, the uh, blue streak was out of bounds, so it goes to the aces. Perna looking to inbounds. Oh, oh. bad pass. Pedraza shot no good. She gets the rebound. Oh, put up oh, a reverse. Oh, my. A reverse layup and didn't go. Oh, my goodness. And here comes Rain uh, Kinsman and nearly seals it underneath the basket. Knocks it out of bounds. Lady Aces will have to inbound it once again. And they need to work on their inbounding yep. a little bit. Yep. Nobody's breaking to the ball. They're yeah. going away from it. And a couple times they've inbounded the ball to where their Here's teammate was instead of where they were. There she goes again. That bailed her out. Mm -hmm. 20 with the personal. That'll be two for Grace Meyer. Just under 30 seconds to go here in quarter number three. Out on the floor now, Emerson O'Brien for Archbold. She wears number 24. Yeah, she played, she's a freshman. She played the first game. She's pretty good. She's got some size. Look at that. 
She took that ball on the run. Ooh, there we go. Gives her seven points herself. 18 to seven, now it's an 11 point lead for the Lady Streaks. Stolen and away. Girls need to settle down and quit trying to force the ball. End of the third quarter, and uh, man, what a difference six minutes of basketball can make. Yeah. As the streaks are now leading 18 to 7 as they uh, scored hold 17. The, yeah, and they held the Lady Aces scoreless for yeah. the entire quarter. Well, as we get ready for the fourth and final quarter here tonight, we want to say another big thank you to uh, one of our Diamond Level supporters uh, underwriting our basketball coverage. That's the APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park, and online at aptmfg.com slash careers. I invite you to check out their website, learn more about their company, and check out the opportunities that they have available for you to maybe become a part of the APT manufacturing team. They'd love to hear from you, and you can submit your resume and fill out an application online. Again, that's aptmfg.com. Also, thanks to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, it's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships and APT Manufacturing Solutions are diamond level supporters for ACES Sports Broadcasts here on Hicksville Community Television. Six minutes on the clock. Quarter number four. Aces down by 11. Break away. Vasquez. Partially blocked. Meyer to Pedroza. Back to Meyer. It's Ruger, number 15. Perna gets, loses the dribble and it gets picked up by Pedraza. And the rebound comes off. Nyhart with Nyhart. the board. Vasquez. Gets Vasquez up the floor. Martina loses the basketball, and it's yep. scooped up again by Grace Meyer. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you're going to say Hicksville's ball? No. She not, we slapped it away. No. Okay. That's the way. Look at that. Nyhart. Nyhart. No weekly. And then Rain Kinsman rockets up from behind and takes the ball away from Vasquez. Yeah, they're getting out hustled right now. Vasquez, or uh, Pedroza. Pedroza. Yeah. Get away from the sideline. That's the way. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> I'll give Nyhart credit for trying to save that ball. Coach Miser is seeing her take it to the <laughs> basket. Don't pass that. Yep. There was no, new, nobody in front of her. A couple new players for Archbold in. Number 30 is Hannah Downing. Fifteen back out, Bria Ruger. Downing shoot. Put back up, no good. And 
Another jump ball underneath the hoop. Three forty-one to go in this junior varsity game, and again an eleven-point lead for the Lady Blue Streaks of Archbold, eighteen to seven. They've got the ball, working it around the perimeter. And something off the rim. Clark rebound. Clark. Steary gives it to Perna. Perna looking. Gives it back to Clark, back to Perna. Oh. And Pedraza ends up with it. Yeah, Grimm was right there and just got enough of the ball to deflect it. She's kind of athletic, you know what? Yep. She is going to she's be. She's just a freshman too, yeah. so. She's got to, she's got to have some good genes. Because she does, she does some nice things. Another jump ball, and I think this one should be for the aces. Yep, she wants out of the game. She's uh, pulling on her shirt. And now she's sitting down. Well, she was playing in the freshman game, too, so a yeah. little bit of a breather there. Ooh. Grace Meyer getting right in there. And she draws the foul from, I think it was Clark that got the whistle, number yes. two. Yes. Now it's team foul number four. Again, no, no good. good. Stops the clock with two minutes and 41 seconds left in the game. Yeah. Got that Got one. That one. Oh, what, what a pass. <laughs> 21 nothing now, Archbold. Lady Aces still have not been able to score here in this second half. Up and no good. And Clark gets double teamed and fouled. 22 picks up the foul. That'll be three on Nia Grimm. Still a common foul. That's only team foul number three on Archbold. They lead by 14, <clears throat> 21 to seven. 2.06 to go. Perna gets the inbound into Martina Vasquez. New player off the bench, number 21, Callie Casey. Casey, another one of the nine freshmen that they have on the JV roster. Kinsman gets it in. Oh, how many steps you get. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know you could switch pivot feet. <laughs> Go from Wait, one to the other. You got two of them. Yeah. Well, we got to travel. I'll whistle the travel underneath the bucket. The Aces will get the ball back with a minute 26 to go in regulation. Mazur, oh, oh. off the iron, no good. Vasquez on the floor, gets it ripped out, and 
Call the jump ball. The minute 10. A freshman coming on the floor. That's uh, Porter. Lily Porter. Yeah. Aces with the ball out of bounds on the baseline with a minute 10 to go as Rain uh, Kinsman comes off the floor with, like, what, seven Steering. points to her credit? Yes. Go rounder. Another jump ball. With under a minute to go, 59.3 seconds. Is working on Janae Kinsman, and we'll have a whistle and a two-shot foul. And Dector. 15. So that'll be Story picking up team foul number five. And Janae Kinsman will be at the line to shoot two with 38.5 seconds left in the game. This is that one. Act like she couldn't couldn't see. She pointed to her eyes. Must mm -hmm. have a contact on or something loose. And she misses them both. Perna, Perna, up. Oh, mm. in and out. Now she's got a problem. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm not sure. What transpired? No. But they're walking her off. Huh. I don't know if she took an elbow to the midsection or something, or I'm, I'm just not sure. I don't know because when when she was at the free throw line, she looked at the coach and yeah, and she was she was making some kind of a yeah some kind of a signal yeah. so. Something like so, to her head. Yeah, her quick 30 eyes. second timeout. With 28 seconds remaining. Mm -hmm. 21 to 7, the score with Archibald leading. Scary inbounding it. Gets it in to Missouri. Every shot you don't take, you don't miss. Yep. And as her got the ball, looked to the hoop, and lost the dribble. It's out of bounds. 12 white. That's Vasquez. Vasquez with, yeah, that's her third. She's a scrapper. That's team foul number six, so... They're going to be a yeah, double so shot be, uh, out second half. <laughs> so you can do the Archibald scoring for this court. <laughs> uh, make sure if I've got, uh, see if I've got them all here. They got seven points for Hicksville. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm I'm short. Ashland, Ashland Steery has a I'm, free throw. Yeah, I'm short. I'm short two. Two for the Archibald Blue Streaks. Yeah. I've got uh, Pedraza with two trays. And six points. I've got Rain Kinsman with three buckets and a free throw for seven. I've got Grace Meyer with a three-pointer and a field goal for four. And I've got Grimm with two, field, two free throws for two. And that's 19, and I need 21. That's all I got. 
Okay. I got exactly what you've got. So we missed one somewhere. And on the Lady Aces side, I mean, they were held scoreless for the second half. Yes. So yep. two, 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 and one. Two points each for Nyhart, Seitz, and Kenner, and a single point for Ashlyn Story. So kind of a rough start for the Lady Aces. They were leading seven to one at halftime and wind up losing 21 to seven. 15 minutes. And uh, yeah. So with that, uh, we're gonna wrap up this live stream. We'll uh, be back with you in about, uh, well, we haven't started the clock yet, but we'll be back with you in about 15, 20 minutes or so. And uh, that'll be with the varsity action here tonight. So until we talk to you then, for Jim Seiler, uh -huh. calling the play-by-play, -play, and Brian Williams operating the iPad Pro camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you a good night and good sports.